Hello, hello, Pokemon trainers! Nerdy Cat here, and welcome to episode 35 of Pokemon Emerald! So, we did defeat Sydney, the dark type user, and we did defeat Phoebe, the ghost type user. So, now we are gonna go up against the ice type user, Glacia. So, and I did prepare my Pokemon a bit off screen, so I hope that we should be ready to go. So, uh, yeah, and it, it all, my guide also says that recommended move types is fighting and electric. I do have electric, but I don't know if I have any fighting. Uh, let me just have a quick look. Um, I think maybe Agron has a... is Rock Smash... Rock Smash is fighting. Okay, maybe maybe we should revive her as well. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Welcome. My name is Glacia of the Elite Four. I've traveled from afar to Hoenn so that I may hone my ice skills. But all I have seen are challenges by weak trainers and their Pokemon. What about you? It would please me to no end if I could go all out against you. No, please do. Please do. You are, you are one of the Elite Four, so why shouldn't you? I would actually be a bit disappointed if she didn't. So, yeah. Let's go ahead. Okay, so this is her Celio, level 50. Celio is a ice water type, nose, and core ice ball, hail, and body slam. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use a Thunder Wave because I don't think I'm able to one shot with a uh, Shock Wave. Okay, now Hail is a bit dangerous because it inflicts damage on only my Pokemon because all of her Pokemon are Ice type and they like the Hail and my Pokemon don't. So. Okay, let's see how much is it gonna do. Okay! I think it did more than half, so that's nice. Come on, my trick. Oh no, I think I'm gonna faint. Yeah. This is this is not a good start for me. It's not looking good. Okay, uh, let's try with a mud shot. So it looks like most of my Pokemon are faster than her Celio. Oh, the parakeet then. Please don't heal it up. Please don't heal it up. And she is. And she is. And that means she got rid of the para. I am consider actually using a max potion on Swampert. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Oh, Celio missed and the hill stopped. Thank you. Is muddy water gonna be any effective on this Pokemon since it is a part water type? Not very effective. Okay, so I guess we're not gonna use that. But we lowered its accuracy. Okay, okay. Okay, let's continue using Mudshot. Okay, yeah, I think we're gonna go with, with Mudshot. I think one or two Mudshot is gonna knock out the Celio. Let's see. Maybe we're lucky and we're gonna get a critical hit. Okay, okay. Alright, next up is Glalie. Uh, should I try with Camerupt? Okay, I'm gonna try with Camerupt. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to attempt and use a Overheat. And uh, hopefully, maybe we can get a critical hit and uh, knock out Glalie. So, this is 
uh, her glaily at level 15 knows icy wind, light screen, ice beam and crunch. Okay, now wish me luck. Nope. Oh my god. Glaily is faster than me. And Camerupt's defense is something we don't talk about. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to use Agron. <laughs> I hope that Agron's defense is a bit better than Camerupt. So, but let's try. Uh, uh, the guidebook says to use fighting type moves. So I'm gonna uh, try and use a Rock Smash and uh, see. <sighs> Agron is part ground type, I think it was. So I don't think she likes the ice type very much, but let's see. Super effective! And it did nothing! Oh! Okay, why don't we use revive on Menectrike? Crunch. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use a uh, Thunder Wave and Paralyze Glady. Okay, there we go. I think that's it for my next track. Yep. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and use Swampert. I think Swampert can handle ice moves. Okay, because Swampert is part water type, so yeah, let's see. I see wind. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, so far okay. <gasps> what was that, Swampert? That was an amazing critical hit! <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And here comes another Celio. Uh, excuse me, guys. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. I'm back. I'm back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so now we are up against a Celio level 52. So let me see. This Celio knows Hail, Blizzard, Attract, and Double Edge. Okay, so in other words, some really, really badass moves. Okay. So now it used Hail, which means that I think Blizzard will do more damage. Number one, it's Step. Number two, the Hail is up. So uh, if this Celio decides to use Blizzard and actually manages to hit, we're in for a bad time. Let me just tell you, we're in for a bad time. So I'm gonna revive Manectrike to have as a backup in case this is gonna go poop. And there... No, <laughs> not a trap. <sighs> okay. Let's go ahead and use a mud shot. Come on, don't be in love. It's the enemy. Thank you. And the speed fell. Nice. <gasps> no, there is the blizzard. There is the blizzard. Oh no. <sighs> Seriously, this is this is not looking good for us. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use a shockwave and see if that's enough to knock out this Celio. Okay, nice, nice, nice. And my next trick grew to level 41. Okay. Next up is Glalie. This Glalie is level 52, knows hail, shadow ball, ice beam, and explosion. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna use a Thunder Wave. Yay, the para kicked in! Amazing! Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, revive 
swamp it. Okay. Okay. Why don't we go ahead and... Okay, we can go ahead and switch out. Okay, so... My plan now is to kinda spam uh, muddy water and try to lower its uh, accuracy. So uh, let's go ahead. Oh wow! Uh oh. That's not good. Okay, um, let's send out my neck trike again. Hoping that the para will uh, kick in and I can use a revive on Swampert. Uh huh, nice, nice. And let's switch back into Swampert. Please, para, please be strong. <laughs> Stay strong, para, Stay strong! <laughs> Yay! It healed me! Wow! Okay, let's go for another muddy water. I think. One more muddy water after this. The para, likey, like, like, like. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Swampert grew to level 48. Nice. Here comes the wall rain. Okay, I'm gonna switch into my next try. So, wall rain level 53. Ice, water type, nose, surf, body slam, ice beam, and yes, sheer cold. This wall rain knows sheer cold, which is a one hit KO move. Okay, now you stay paralyzed. Okay, stay paralyzed. Come on, an egg strike. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, if you are gonna be like that. Okay, um, let's send in Swampert. I probably should use a revive on the neck drive, just in case this wall rain decides to be poop. Okay, the para kicked in. Nice. Let's go ahead and use muddy water and uh, try to lower this wall rain's accuracy as much as possible. And that was a critical hit, and it didn't do anything. Oh, oh, come on, Swampert, come on, 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 come on. Okay, that's a good boy. Please, para, please, para, kick in, para, kick in. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is seriously... <laughs> this is so intense. Okay. Come on. Come on. One shot. One shot. <gasps> it missed. It missed. Okay, and now it used a berry. So that means that Glacia is probably not gonna heal it up. So I really, really need you to nail a strong, strong shockwave, Manek Drake. Come on. Come on. <gasps> she did it. Oh my god, she did it! She did it! I can't believe it! I can't believe it! That was so intense! You and your Pokémon, how hot your spirit burns! The all-consuming heat overwhelms! It's no surprise that my icy skills failed to, har failed to harm you! <laughs> that was so intense. Advance to the next room. And there, confirm the truly fearsome side of the Pokemon League. No, you don't say. Okay, let's just go ahead and save before entering the next room. Oh my god, that was so intense. Whew. Okay guys, let's save the game and let's end the episode. 
thank you guys so so much for watching and thank you guys so so much for your support i really really appreciate it i hope that you guys enjoyed the episode and i hope that you guys are excited for more pokemon emerald if you want you can leave a like you can also leave a comment and if you want to get notifications whenever i upload anything then you're free to subscribe as well but till next time bye